Thanks, Rick, over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, good evening, everyone, and, uh, and it's great to uh, see you all here tonight. Uh, Dr. Brian, excellent. Um, Paul, thank you for all the work you do. Uh, Rick is an amazing, amazing person all around. I've known him for a very long time, so that actor was probably, he probably knew I was sitting there. Just, just the thing. So I've known Rick for a very long time, and, and uh, I think it's just great that he's taken on this work of autism connections. Advocacy is so critical to making the kind of change that is necessary, and sometimes even activism is necessary. And you'll know when you get there if you need to do that. Um, and Rand is starting here today with this sign, which is great. Um, there needs to be a continuum of uh, a continuum from the from the preschool intervention through the public school system. Uh, a number of parents have talked to me about how they saw, uh, seeing their children learn to lose ground in kindergarten and grade one, uh, and felt like the supports that really should be there in, in, the way, in, in the way of a continuum from the preschool intervention through the school system could be much improved. So that's an area for advocacy that you, you're well familiar with, and perhaps for some activism down the road. Uh, the same goes, of course, and I think here there's perhaps more of a need for activism than anything, and that is the lack of support for uh, uh, adults with autism, uh, the lack of any sense of security for you as parents that down the road um, your children will have a place where they can live, thrive, be taken care of as they age uh, when you're maybe not in the picture anymore. And uh, that's vital and essential. So um, that's something that I think there needs to be some actual activism around. Um, because it's one thing to advocate, and I think effectively that work is going on. I see that continuum from the pre, the preschool intervention through the school system. And as Paul mentioned, there's been some improvements in the school system. More needs to be done, but some more advocacy will work there. But it seems like on the adult side of autism, uh, there's been a bit of a wall, a bit of a barrier, a bit of a real blank spot. And so that's when that happens, uh, perhaps activism is called for. So with, uh, in the spirit of Randy's uh, present presentation uh, this evening, perhaps that's where things need to go. But certainly you can count me uh, as a champion, uh, a supporter, an ally uh, on these issues and others uh, as, they, as they are identified. Uh, it's important that it's important that we, we, in a way, get back to um, basics in sense in New Brunswick and really focus on people and families and our communities and the need to meet those needs. Uh, and I think we've gotten off track uh, over time. And that's not so difficult to do. It requires to put some compassion back into the system uh, that to some degree has kind of been ringed out. Some of the excellent people working in government um, <laughs> within the system they're operating in, compassion starts to get ringed out. And uh, we need to fix that system so that those folks can do their job uh, the way they want to do it, uh, to be the greatest help that they can be, and the greatest allies they can be uh, for you. So uh, those are just some thoughts uh, I had. I just got off the boat from uh, Grand Manan. Um, my wife's family all lives on the island, so we spent, uh, we spent Easter there. Um, but fortunately, uh, the seas were calm, not like yesterday, coming back, so the boat was on time, and uh, we were able to get back to Frederick in time for this, so I'm really pleased uh, to be able to participate and uh, to uh, be here in solidarity with all of you. And I want to say that, that I, I do stand in awe with the work that you, of, in, of awe the work you do, because uh, I, I can't imagine uh, the work you do as parents, the work you do as board members, the, the continuing work, uh, Paul, Paul, that you do, and, uh, that you're doing, Rick. And of course, I want to say something about the musicians here. Uh, the the uh, contribution the musicians make uh, to this event is fantastic. It's, um, it's, it's, it's another kind of gift uh, to be able to play and share music. It's something that I've been working away with for 50 years, trying to learn the guitar, and have yet to uh, conquer anything that makes any sense to anybody. Uh, it sounds terrible. So I'm really looking forward to the music that the musicians tonight here are going to share with us because music has a way of pulling us together um, in, a, in a beautiful, beautiful way and of course lifting our hearts and spirits and 
and speaking to us also. Thank you to the musicians for your contributions tonight. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.